My whole life I've seen the world through pictures. It's one of those things that's in your mind for 10 years that I've been wanting to do it and wanting to do it. And so the fact that it's going to happen this year is, uh, you know, daunting, but so exciting too. You're going to do something that's uh, so full of commitment just to try to get one photo. I had imagery in my head from like uh, when I was a kid of these massive herds of caribou crossing and swimming across the river where there's so many caribou that are like pouring out of a, a forest on one side and disappearing into a forest on the other side. To capture that image, um, it's going to be a, a, like a really big challenge. I kind of got into photography because of my dad. You know, he moved up north in the northern Yukon because he wanted to experience the north. He's 70 years old and he's just constantly looking to, to go out on adventures and to like really kind of explore the landscapes and the people. So I, you know, took a summer off of university one year just to spend the whole summer like exploring the Yukon. And that really kind of kick-started me on the path I'm in today. is that the images can, can provide a, like emotional connection to people to inspire them to kind of go out and ex make these experiences on their own. And you can get so caught up in the business of life and working and going on and doing a career that you know you might not get a chance to explore you know the, the best place in the world even if it's in your backyard. People, successful artists and successful people are always motivated to go keep going and push and push and push so you pause and you're happy but, but you know already you're thinking of the next big project and the people to work with and the things you got to do. This trip in the north is part of a, a five-year story I'm doing on uh, the Gwich'in people and their relationship with the caribou and the, how, how they have a symbiotic relationship where they, you know, look after each other. This giant migration that the caribou do, like, uh, you know, it's a 500 kilometer migration through, you know, one of the most desolate and difficult places to live in, in uh, North America. It's a very important step in my career because I'm trying to get you know, signature images that uh, um, inspire people and make people stop and think. I'm trying to help people connect to you know, wilderness wildlife, you know, First Nations people, through snapshots that bring emotion. And if I can get those images, then I have a chance of also getting published in National Geographic to tell that story to 40 million people.